Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Valerie and I am an artist and since it is Inktober I thought I would take out my glass dip pen and draw with it. I've had this pen for about two years now and I honestly just don't draw with it enough. Partly because ink is not really my medium of choice but it is just a lot of fun. It's kind of a novel tool to use so I thought I'd take it out today. Um, apologies ahead of time, I do have a cold so I'm going to sound a little raspy and also won't be talking a lot this video. So yeah, anyways let's get to it. So today I'm going to be using Dr. Peach Martin's Bombay Black India ink um, and despite a lot of people recommending this on the internet, I actually don't recommend this for glass dip pens because with the grooves that you have in the glass dip pen which acts as like the inkwell, um, it just dries out so fast while you're writing that it starts to clog up the grooves and therefore the ink doesn't flow to the tip as smoothly as it should. And honestly it also makes just the upkeep of the glass tip pen a lot more difficult because since it does kind of cake onto the glass tip pen it makes it difficult to clean. The ink that came with the um, pen was more like watery and so when I dipped it into the water to clean it out all I had to do was wipe it with a paper towel and it would be fine but with this one I have to like scrub it with a toothbrush um, immediately after in order to keep this pen in good condition. Anyways, that was a really long rant about why I don't like this ink. As for the pen itself, I mean it's super fun to use. Um, I'm not a huge ink person but it's just kind of novel to work with. The only thing I don't like about the glass dip pen is that it has one line weight which is like the thickness of the lines and with a traditional fountain pen you can kind of vary how thick or thin the lines are but with a glass dip pen it's just all one line weight. And the line weight that it does write in is just kind of thicker than what I would want to use for like details but it's just a minor thing and otherwise it's super fun to use. And this part is satisfying, just dipping the pen into clean water. Mm. <laughs> so for today's Peach Chopper's prompt list, it's potions. And so I just looked up a bunch of pictures of potion bottles and decided to sketch them out in gray marker and now I'm just inking over it. Unfortunately, when I was inking in the first potion bottle, I forgot to hit play on my camera. So I do not have footage of that, but enjoy the footage of the rest of these bottles. Thank you. 
So one fun thing you can do with glass dip pens is that you can take some watercolor and then you can brush the paint onto the grooves of the dip pen and then you can use that to do some color ink. I don't really like doing this too much um, because I do have to pause and brush it back on whenever I run out of the watercolor. Um, whereas, you know, with this ink bottle, I can just dip it in and keep going. But it's still so fun and I like the results. So I decided to make something that was a little more finished looking and so I created this potion bottle um, that had like a mermaid fish tail on it. Um, I have a daughter who is currently obsessed with mermaids so I like to think that if you drank this bottle that you would turn into a beautiful mermaid.
Friends, I'm about to wrap up this beautiful illustration. <laughs> um, I hope that you have a great day. I hope you stay healthier than I have been. <laughs> and uh let me know if you are participating in inktober this month i probably won't just because i have some other projects in mind but uh yeah i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video bye